What's up, everybody? Spare with a gun here from the Sleepless Nights with another episode on Kerbal's space program. Uh, when we left off, we had somewhat successfully, semi sort of landed on the moon ish, kind of, if you count a crash landing as a success, but we got the gist of the orbit and all that doodad stuff. So now. I know I've been getting a lot of comments about, you know, you should watch a lot of LPs and tutorials and all that to understand it, but I think it's way funnier and probably more entertaining for you guys just to jump in, although you're probably pulling your hair out, so there's that. Um, so we gotta pick our flag. What flag do I want? We could use the Monkey Squad logo, that looks cool. Minimalist uh, capsule circles. Blorbs. So we could do Blorbs. Kerbin. Let's go with the squad. Make us look like we're Black Ops or something. So, I'm jumping right into career mode. With no idea what I'm doing. No HUD, apparently, either. What's going on here? Let's cl oh, I clicked something. What happened? Nothing selected. This is a bad idea. The technology we started out with... How hard can rocket science be? Not that. Eh. Research five science. Available parts. So do we have this or do we need to research it? We're under technology. Science archives. Welcome to the science archives. Please make a selection. Okay. We don't have anything to select. What are we doing? Okay. So that's a bust. We have no science. That's not useful for anything. Oh! What is this? This is like The Sims! Or Game Dev Tycoon, or whatever. So these are my astronauts available for, for next mission. Courage, stupidity! Bill is stupid! Bob, apparently. Wait, is that. Well, it's not a measure of intelligence, so low stupidity should mean you're smart. So Bob is a smart dude, but kind of cowardly. Sort of. Bill is dumb as a doornail, but somewhat courageous. <laughs> this is an awesome game. Okay, so you can hire people. What money do I have to hire people with? You're so stupid, you're courageous, Al. We're hiring you. Available for <laughs> me. I really should. This goes hand in hand, right? The not stupid people are not very courageous because they know how deadly space travel can be. The really stupid people, they're like courageous out the wazoo. That's funny. So we need kind of a middle ground, <laughs> I guess. Land free. Let's pick you. I don't know what I'm paying these people with. We're like a startup space program. Why don't I just hire all of them? There doesn't seem to be any reason not to, but we'll stick with that for now. So that's like the business admin wing. What is this? Oh. What did I do? We're loading something. Oh, okay. So this is a building place where we build our ship. Uh, these buttons are apparently not available to me. Load. Untitled spacecraft. Uh, so I can do like a command pod. Oh, no. There's, there's all the different tabs. Okay. I don't know what these do. Center of thrust. Center of lift. Center of mass. That's probably important. <laughs> I tend to- s I, I feel like I have the most fun with this game when I'm just jumping in with no idea what I'm doing. Wait, no, this looks like I'm building a spacecraft. What's the difference? I'm sure there's a difference, and everyone's probably yelling at me right now, like, Oh, of course, this is the rocket building, and the other was the moon buggy? Is that it? Is this, like, is that hangar for rockets and- like, this is for rockets, and this is for, like, planes, or... That looks like a plane hangar, or a moon buggy. I'm guessing launch pad. Oh. Sort of. Okay, there's the moon. Gosh, I love that, the moon. What is this? What? What is with all the tabby things? Holy crap. This has so much depth to this game, it makes NASA look... I don't know. Like, either their job is way harder than I ever gave them credit for. <laughs> Not really. 
Uh, they're, they do a lot. Uh, that's why they're rocket scientists. Okay, and what do you do? No save vehicles found. Please go to the vehicle assembly building and create a vessel. Well, it would help if you told me what buildings these were. Would that not help? And why is there a runway? Okay, there's a runway. Space plane? What the heck? Oh, it does tell me it's down at the bottom. Okay, R&D, vehicle assembly, space... What the freaking heck is a space plane? Wait, tracking station. Oh, this is the launch pad. This is like the NASA building with all that. The dishes should have given me away. That should have given it away. I mean, they wouldn't put these kind of expensive dishes next to the next to the launch pad. Does it? Is this like SimCity? Does it show anything moving around? That would be cool. I don't think it does. Maybe later when it's not an alpha. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong. It is still an alpha, isn't it? Oh, I did. Oh, what did I do? Oh, good. We're in the space building anyway. So, alright. I'm going to go out on a limb here and say you need to use a spaceship to research things. How am I doing so far? Is that about right? Originally built as a placeholder for a demonstration mock-up of a rocket. So that's just the command module. Propulsion. Liquid fuel. Cost. See, it keeps saying, like, cost, but I don't know... How do I know how much money I have, or what What does cost deal with? Control, structural, modular girder segment, new, build the structure of your dreams with the Maxo Construction Toys modular girder segment. That is a mouthful. They need to shorten that acronym like Pronto Utility. Parachute, that seems important. Might be considered by some to be little more than a random stitching together of the surplus parts. It's in fact made from, but the fact remains that the MK-16 has been widely accepted generally. Blah, 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 blah. Science! The communo Communotron 16 is a versatile and lightweight antenna suitable for moderate range communication, long range backup communication, eavesdropping on secret government. Ooh, let's do that. How do we eavesdrop? Alright, so this takes 10 charge a pack. I'm going to totally jack this up, by the way. Center of lift. Center of... Just FYI, if you're looking for a really well thought out, well laid planned, you have come to the wrong place. This is going to be hilarious and fun, but in no way is this going to end well. Okay, so how do I start build- would you start with a thruster, I guess? So this is very heavy mass. Crash tolerance, that seems like a bad stat to use a lot. Max temperature, so this is the lowest temperature. Oxidizer... Wait. That's a fuel tank, dummy. That's a fuel booster. Well, considered by some of you a little more than a trash bin full o trash bin full o boom. That is amazing. I may actually make that the title, the trash bin full of boom. Used in many space programs whenever they need to save cash. I need to save cash. Greater than the need to keep astronauts alive. I don't need to keep I got plenty of applicants. Use with caution, though. Once lit, solid fuel motors cannot be put out until the fuel runs out. That could be problematic. Although criticized by some due to its non, not insignificant use of so-called pieces found lying around. So basically, I am going to build the crappiest ship of all time. I still don't understand the cost thing. Like, how does that... How do I start this? Oh, there we go. That's... No. No, you go away. No. Delete. There we go. Delete key. Works. Okay. So we have a command module. Yay! Now, does this come with a parachute? Max temperature. Crew capacity one. Alright, we're using the dumbest guy we have and sending him out into space for who knows what. Uh, 
cost 600. Where does this cost thing come into play? Action groups. Oops. Nope. Didn't want to do that. Crew. Nope. Did not. Not ready for that yet. Wait. Parts with crew capacity. What did that say? No, no, no. We want Kerman. We want to put him in there. Get Jedediah out of there. Oh, they're all Kerman. <laughs> Wait, they're all related? That's creepy. Okay, so we have our dumb astronaut to send up into space. Okay. Is this structural? So is this the hull thing? Maybe. I don't I don't get it. I don't know what I'm doing. Let's not put that there, because I don't know what it does. Aerodynamics. I feel like we need a parachute. Oh wait, no. I don't want you there. I want you up on top. There we go. There we go. See? It ain't that hard. <laughs> I'm probably jacking this up. Beyond repair. Wait, what is this? Sub-assembly? That looks like missiles! I want missiles. Where does this go? Can I put that in the command module? <laughs> Apparently we can! <laughs> Alright. Um, so how about... How about we put... That... Um, what does this button do? New, launch pad, save. Oh, okay. So, what, do I do anything with this to, like, fix it in place or something? Or is it just gonna stay this way? And furthermore, what is the cost? Where's, where's, like, the cost thing? I don't understand. Okay, we got an antenna. So now it's just propulsion, I guess. We don't have much else to work with. Um... Wait. How do I get new stages? That's something I want to know. Can I put this here? Let's put you here. Cuz... <laughs> why not? Oh my gosh, this is gonna end horribly. Just... the uh, the visions I have in my head how this first flight is going to go. <laughs> no idea. Um, that doesn't look like it should be able to go there. How do I... I'm confused. How do I get this to go like... like that? <laughs> oh man. This is what happens when you give a bored YouTuber the ability to build ships and send Kerbals into space. Fiery, fiery burning death is how that ends. Wait, that doesn't look connected at all. That. Still not connected. What is going on? It was connected before, wasn't it? Wasn't it? Oh, there we go. Can I put... Another one of these that close. Oh! It started to... Let me do it. Whew! That's what I'll do if you put it right there. Alright! Right? <laughs> um, here's another question. How do I turn? Wait. Tank had some difficulty accepted, being accepted in the space car engine because most rocket builders had trouble overcoming their urges to squeeze? No, squee. At the cute little fuel tank. Uh-huh. Wait, this initial reaction was only put aside when the amount of fiery explosions in assembly areas became so high 
Strict guidelines were put into place to prohibit teasing the fuel containers. I love this game. It is so funny. Okay. So, I have a theory. I know, we're wrecking everything that I just did. Let's build the hull out of fuel containers, because that's completely safe! What could possibly go wrong? Um... <laughs> I'm really having way too much fun with this. Uh... Can I put them sideways? <gasps> oh, I can! Oh my... I think a monster has just been created. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Okay. Uh-huh. <laughs> Wait, no. We don't want that there. We want more fuel. Since cost apparently does not seem to be a problem. It's weird. It's like, it's career mode, but not. Because... I'm pretty sure I picked career mode, didn't I? I really think I did. But yet, it doesn't seem to matter what I put. Let's just load this thing up with some antennas. I want some science. I don't even know if that's how you get it or not. But I have no other options. And the tutorials suck. And watching YouTube videos just seems like it would take the fun out of all of the crazy building processes. Now, the one question I have is, I don't know how to move... You know what? We're not going to worry about it. Uh, let's save... Wait, no. Let's name this. The USS... I think... Do they do, do they do that with ships? I mean, spaceships? Shuttles? Who knows? It's Kerbal. We don't care. Uh, USS... Triderp. Uh, one. Triderp one. It's got three engines. Get it? <clears throat> Shut up. Oop. Yes. We want the squad flag. Oop. Nope. I broke the engine. I'm breaking it already. Okay. We can get rid of... Can I delete? Delete. Get rid of that one. We only want the USS Triderp. Okay. Dang it! Put the... Stay there. Stay. Good rocket ship. Alright. How are we doing in there, Al? Uh, je get Jedediah out of there. Don't. Wait, oh, that probably fills people. Whatever. Launch. We're doing it. Don't ask me what we're doing. Don't ask me why we're doing it. And don't ask me how. These are all questions I do not have the answers to. <laughs> Test launch of the USS Triderp 1. T minus 40 seconds. Wait, how do I take off again? Why am I floating? Oh, that's... cannot be good. Um... Is there a way to go back to the thingy? Go back. Or uh, docking. Nope. Not, nope. Mm -mm. It's that should not be happening. Electricity mono. Screw it. What's the um? Well. Okay, that's never a good sign when the throttle doesn't do anything. Um. Don't you worry, everyone. I have completely no idea what I'm doing. Go. No. Eva, Iva. Okay. Um, well. Revert flight. Revert will set the game back to an earlier state. Are you sure you want to continue? Revert to launch. Revert to vehicle. Send late one minute. I don't know. That was only 23 seconds. This is a whole 24 seconds ago. 
Okay, so this design clearly has something lacking. My question is what? I mean, it probably would help to, to read things. Maybe. That's just too much work. Okay. Center of lift. Where's the center of lift? Why are you over there? How do I move that? Do I move that? Do I not move that? Whoa! Huh. Uh-huh. Yep. Let's not do that. So, the center of lift apparently doesn't change. Center of thrust! Aha! Uh -huh. Okay. Center of mass. Good! No idea what that did to help us. Um, angle snap. Ooh, symmetry. What are we doing? Let's just turn all this crap off. It's confusing enough as it is. Um... Yeah, I don't, uh, quite get it. Not gonna lie. At least this one I would think would work. You know what? Let's just... Let's just go. Again. Nope. It's probably because I keep taking the engines off. Probably has something to do with it. Or... Can we... Hang on. Hold that thought. Can we move these up? I wonder if that would help get things, like, out of the way. I don't know. Sure. Let's do that. Try this again. I'm gonna do it. We're going to build a ship without help, and it's going to launch if it stops. Why is it wobbling? And, yeah, no, that's not working. Hmm. Alright. Hmm. Okay. We're gonna do this. How about we just... Get rid of that, get rid of that, get rid of that, and that. It's going to be the shortest flight ever. Um, but we're going to try it. Is there something about this engine that won't, like, I don't know, take off? Possibly? Or do I have to turn something on before the thruster works? The, the wobble concerns me mildly. Since I have my dumbest guy in there, I'm not too worried about it, but, you know. Hey look, it's not wobbling. That seems like a plus. It's also not turning on. Okay, so clearly... I need to do something. Oh! Maybe if I turn the electricity on. And all that stuff. No. Huh. Activate engine. Yes. Oh! So is it? It's on. Okay. Wait, what did I... Oh, crap. No. Turn all this on, I guess. I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. Ah! It works! Wait. Oh, nope. 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 Back the other way. Back the other way. Back. Nope. Kill the engine. Okay. Uh. Up. There we go. Stop. Stop that. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Wait. We're not out of fuel already, are we? Um. Seriously? Oh good, we're out of fuel. So one tank. Clearly not enough. Okay. We're descending. Why are we... Um... 
I don't think we were supposed to pop a parachute that early. That does not look like it deployed correctly either. So, oh, and it put Jedediah in there. No! Do, 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 do. That never happened. It's one of those missions you never hear about. Okay, so let's reload the tri derp. Now that I know that you need to turn stuff on. Still wobbling. And it's still got Jedediah in it. Oh well. Yeah, this is take two of the takeoff ship. Or wait, didn't I need to turn these on or something? What did I do last time that worked? Aha! Whee! Hold on. Stop. Stop with the... Why is it flipping? Don't do that. still flipping. The balance thing has got to be off. Oh, and we're falling. No, 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 no. Stop pointing towards the ground. This has got to be the most annoying thing in the world to try and control. Oh, come on. No. Let's... No, this is going to go terribly wrong. In my dumb defense, I did say it was going to go wrong. How do I get this crap out of the way? <laughs> this is going to go so bad. Oh, I thought I saw the moon for a second there. Wait, stop with all the control paneling crap. Leave me- no, don't do that. Wait, is one of my engines already out of fuel? Lovely. Um, does anyone know how to jettison parts? It's probably in the- in the building thing of how you make it, right? Well, the good news is, it's flying, and we got up to 50,000 feet, or meters, 5,000 meters. It wasn't even 15, 50. The bad news, we're out of fuel, and we're falling. Yeah, so I think I'm going to end on a cliffhanger, and I'm going to go ahead and end the episode here, and you don't know what happens to Jedediah. Um, I hope you all enjoyed my derpy attempts at this, and if you did, leave a like, and I will see you next time. Peace.